everybody, it's your boy King Blue, and welcome to it. Welcome to the first episode of Behind the Beat. This is a platform where RMG produces. We go about showing you guys how we made the beats to some of the songs that we released over time. You already know what time it is, man. So for y'all who don't know, Raw Music Group is a record label from South Africa, The Val, and I'm a hip-hop producer. I'm the guy who owns the label. I am a rapper. I make music videos. I do so many things, man. And I've got Swat, Brismo, and Swat. They also work here. They are producers, basically, who help all the artists we have here make beats, man. And, well, make songs, rather. So if you are looking to um, work with any of our producers, man, just hit us up. You already know. Just... Go on Twitter at Raw Music Group 2, just find us. Uh, or you can go on Facebook, alternatively, Raw Music Group, just search for us, and we'll be able to help you out with whatever your needs are. And while you're at it, please do remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so that you get a notification every single time when we upload a video. Now, with that being said, what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be looking at jugs. Hamba. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made the beat. So just so you guys um, understand how this is gonna work. Every single show, um, show or episode of this platform is going to be hosted by the producer in question. So next week might be SWAT, then Grizz, then Sub. You never know. You'll just have to tune in to see. I might do four shows all in a row. SWAT might do eight shows in a row. You never know. It just depends on, you know, what we feel like breaking down in that particular week. Right? So I'm going to say just one more time, man. Do remember to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and after that hit the bell so you get a notification every single time when we upload a video so with that being said jags hamba produced by yours truly let's get into it the first time one jolila when i'm on tolila when i'm on flow pila they got tarila how i'm on tarila Alright man, so when I meet Hamba, the backstory for the song is um, We're basically um, at the studio in the morning It was myself, Grace, Jags and Swat And the homies just went out to go get a smoke and I basically stayed behind to make the beat, right? This this was not even the, the planned beat. I was planning on doing something completely different, but I just started with it and everything just started coming together. The guys were gone for a good 45 minutes and when they came back, I was about 80% done with the beat and, you know, Jags loved it, man. And he was like, yo, I think this is my next single and we went with it. So let's jump into it and I'm going to show you guys how I made the beat. And just so you guys know, I only produce in machine, no FL Studio, no... Cubase, Pro Tools, nothing. I make all my beats. I make all of them in machine. I use the hardware and the software. So we're going to jump into the machine software and I'm going to show you guys how I made the beat, right? Now, how I started with the beat, um, we're going to go, we're going to go to the arrangement and how I basically started with the beat was, um, <clears throat> this was really like a, 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 quite a simple beat for me to make. It didn't even, it wasn't really like that big of a deal for me to make the beat. So how I started, I started with, um, this sound is um, it's from Razor. The preset is called Planet of Junk. That's the preset, and I basically played these chords. And if, as, as you guys can see, like these are very simple chords. I didn't lose my mind <laughs> playing them. You know what I'm saying? But this is basically what they sound like. <laughs> That's it. That's literally all I played. Just, just that. That's it. And what I did after that, um, I basically did. That's the same exact thing that I did with that one. I just duplicated that and I did it again. But on this new section, I added a few extra notes. And this is how um, that goes. <laughs> It. And again, like remember, guys, I told you it's Razor. Razor is from Native Instruments, um, and it's this is actually one of my favorite plugins ever. I just love the way this thing sounds. It's incredible. 
it's amazing for me. It, I, I just, I read most of my beats, about about 98% of my beats have some sound from Razor. I am absolutely in love with it. And I love how much I can design sound with it, man. It's such a great tool. Um, and then, so basically most of the meat of the beat um, happens in the hook. That's kind of like where all the sounds meet together. So we're just going to hop onto the hook section and... Uh, basically this the, the the bass line of the beat comes from another native instruments plugin this is called monarch and the preset is called wind him up and this is what monarch looks like and it's also it's not really my favorite but it's got a lot of very very amazing um basses and some some leads are, are pretty dope but this is more geared towards like your um techno more producers kind of and this is what the bass line sounds like and if you guys can actually just pay attention, you guys will notice that with a lot of the notes that I played with this particular beat, I kept everything so simple. I just, I, it just didn't scream, you know, complication. Everything was just simple. What I added after that, I added a gangster whistle. This one is from Massive. This is actually one of my favorite sounds. I really love this sound. And it that's that's basically where the that little melody that catches your ear, that's kind of where that comes from. And there was someone who asked me, they were like, Yo, what sample is that? It's not a sample. I actually played this. And there's a part that rolls. And you guys will, will hear it when I play it now. There's a part that rolls. I played those parts in. And that's what we call ear candy. It's little things like that that just makes your beat a lot more interesting. Because I could have just played this in a normal way. But I actually stretched out my grid. And I went for the nitty gritty just to give it a bit more of a playful feel. you know. And this is how that came out. That's it. So when, when you put all of them together, this is pretty much what they sound like. And then after that, I basically chilled with everything and I just decided to do the drums because now I just needed the bounce. I needed something that was going to encourage me to keep going with the beat and this is the drum uh, this is the drum sequencing that I did on the beat, man. And I, I basically used a kit from one of my expansions, one of my machine expansions called Global Shake. And I just loaded the kit and I, all the sounds just mashed. Everything was just amazing from the get go. And this is what the drums sound like. I just kept it simple. I'm gonna keep saying that until this video is over, man. I just kept it simple. And then I added, um, I found a sample in one of my, my packs. I found a, a saxophone sample. And I actually found it by mistake. I remember this so well. I was trying, I was looking for something else and I pressed the wrong key and I found this and it just fits so perfectly with the B. You know, this is, this is what the saxophone sounds like. And then there's there's a part that I added that also kind of gave it I wanted to give it even though already it's, it's a very African sounding beat but I just wanted to drive the Africanness of the song home you know I wanted something that was gonna stand out maybe if someone in Atlanta was gonna listen to this or someone in Spain or someone in Switzerland was gonna listen to this I wanted them to actually get that feeling of yo this sounds very very african so i went i found one of my other plugins this is actually like my second favorite plugin that i use on almost everything this is chromophone from aas and i found um a preset called bouncy marimba and i just played that and for some odd reason man it just it came together and this is what that sounds like let me actually solo that so you can hear it this is all i played It. 
that's it, nothing complicated. And when everything came together, it all sounded so beautiful and I was so proud of myself, man. And that's pretty much how I made the beat, that's it. There was really nothing to it. It was not a complicated process. Uh, I didn't have to sit here and try and calculate the circumference of, I just, I just sat down and made what I felt like making. And when everything came together, this is what it sounded like. That's it, man. After that, we had about a nine-hour recording session, um, just recording the song, putting together the melodies, the verses, the writing. Everything was just coming together very nicely, and that's how we got to the song, man. Hamba, you guys can actually go ahead and check out the music video. It's already, it's been out already, um, and yeah, man. That's pretty much how I made the beat. That's it. That's it. I right, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. We totally appreciate it, and remember, guys. Do hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit it. Hit it right now. Don't don't wait. Hit it right now. Right. And when you're done, hit the bell so that you get a notification every time when we upload a video. We have this year. We've got a lot planned. We're not just doing uh, music videos. We're gonna be doing these types of shows. We're doing skits. We're doing interviews because we felt like, yo, man, why not just create our own platform? Why do we have to wait for someone to come in and give us a platform? We're just gonna create our own platform. That's what we're gonna do. We're going to create our own platform. All right, man, with that being said, my name is Kim Blue, and I do represent Raw Music Group, and I hope to see you guys next time when we go behind the beat.